Susan said, are you ready? Eileen, how does this fit with the workforce issues that you confront? We are more than ready to work together on this. Now, the great point is that we are, we have education and business in alignment on what the academic goals must be, what our funding needs are, and the importance of accessibility for all students to the education that they need to prepare them for work. There's a lot of work still to be done in these areas, but it's time to add the next phase to what we're doing. As Susan mentioned, it's the implementation. How do these goals look? What do they translate into in terms of classroom experience and out of classroom experience for students? This is the critical next step for all of us, business and schools together. The purpose of education is not more education. The purpose of education is to prepare people to work. That's the only reason we care about education, and we care about connecting everybody to quality work, to well-paying jobs, and work that challenges people, work that, that advances our social agendas, our social concerns, and that develops our economy in Oregon and beyond. So to me, the most critical point here is how are we going to do this? What is this going to look like going forward? We have some very good examples already in the state. We have the Business Education Compact that for a number of years has been connecting students and teachers in internships in businesses. We have the Portland Workforce Alliance, bringing business people into the classroom, taking students and teachers into the workplace. We have the Oregon Business Leadership Network that's focused on creating internship and job opportunities for students with disabilities. Work Drug Free Oregon is bringing, bringing drug-free workplace principles into the classroom, integrating it into the diploma requirements. The Manufacturing 21-led coalition uh, Northwest Youth Career Expo is taking students and teachers out of the classroom for one day exposure to career opportunities in manufacturing, construction, and healthcare. The little city of Independence, Oregon, supports the Poke Halo program, connecting youth with jobs, kids who might otherwise uh, flounder and have trouble finding where they go outside of school. Clackamas County has a manufacturing road trip going into its second year of connecting businesses and students. The community colleges are working on renewing and revitalizing the career pathway programs. We've got some extraordinary examples of the work that we need to do, but we need, it's time for us to say more of this, more of the same, broader connections, take it throughout the state, build the links between school and business. The best way to incent students to take advantage of educational options is to show them what their career options are. Thank you very much.